Mr. Whalen Reads! Hi friends, it's Mr. Whalen here. I have brought you another story. Another one of our boy's old favorites. In fact, it was our oldest son, Liam, who's gonna be 20 this year, who said, hey, have you read them this book yet? And I said, no, not yet, but I bet you'll like it. This book is called Germs. Germs. And Liam thought it'd be a really good idea because you hear a lot about germs these days, don't you? Especially with the COVID, the pandemic, and all that. But there's other germs that make us sick too. And there's other germs that actually aren't that bad for us. So there's a lot to learn about germs. And germs, we hear about them. We gotta protect ourselves from germs. We wash our hands, we, we keep things clean, we eat right, we get the right amount of rest, and we keep our bodies healthy. Because inside your body, there are natural defenses that will fight off germs and infections if you take care of yourself. Now there's other germs and infections. You're gonna need a little help. The doctors give a shot sometimes, call a vaccination or a vaccine that helps our body to fight off germs. Sometimes we need that help from the doctor and we go get our shots when we're younger. Um, or even as a grown up, if something bad comes along, we get shots to help us stay better. People get flu shots, people get pneumonia shots, people get COVID shots, and it's all part of trying to keep us all healthy. Well, this book, Germs, is kind of about how those germs work inside our body and what they do. And there's one little germ who thinks maybe it's not such a nice idea to make people sick all the time. We gotta see what happens to him. But Germs is a great little book. I love the illustrations in it. It's a cute little story. It was written and illustrated by Ross Collins. I had fun reading it. It's been a long time since I read it. I forgot how much I enjoyed this book and I hope you enjoy it too. Germs by Ross Collins. Germs. Pox heard nurse coming before she arrived. Incubating time's up, chicken pox 12087-2, she yelled. Time you learned how to be a proper germ. My friends call me Pox, Pox said, smiling. I'm not your friend, snarled nurse. Now pack your bags. Later that morning, the bubonic bus arrived to take Pox and the other cadets to Germ Academy, where minor infections are turned into real germs. Once Pox had passed his physical to prove that he was unhealthy, he was shown to the dorm where he met his new roommates. Pus from mumps. Scab from tonsillitis rash from measles, and snot from the common cold. After lights out, the other germs gathered round Pox to tell stories. Each boasted of a terrible outbreak which a relative had started. But didn't it make the children miserable? asked Pox. That's the point, you numpty, sneered Scab. But Pox didn't get it. For the next week, Pox came bottom of the class in everything. Know your host. Medicine self-defense. Flight school. All too soon, Pox was assigned his first mission. But she looks so sweet, said Pox. Make her sick growled Puss. That night, Pox was airdropped outside Myrtle's house and managed to remember enough of his flight training to glide successfully up her left nostril. Pox slumped against a vein and sulked. This job stinks, he thought. What right have I to... But then he heard a noise getting louder and louder and heading right for him. Inside Myrtle, Pox was surrounded. It was Myrtle's immune system, and they didn't look friendly. There he is, shouted one. You picked the wrong kid to infect, yelled another. Meanwhile, back at Germ Central, alarms began to ring. Who target isn't showing signs of infection, barked Commander Flem. Chicken Pox 12087 2 has loused up his mission. Let us go, sir, sneered Pox's roommates. We'll give her a birthday she'll never forget, sir. My brave boys, 
hacked the commander. Pox was in trouble. The immune system was trained to pulverize little germs like him. Wait, he shouted. I'm on your side. Oh, yeah, and I'm a fungal infection, mocked a voice at the back. Why should we trust you, germ boy, scowled another. Because four big ugly germs will be coming soon, said Pox. And without my help, Myrtle could be sick in bed for weeks. The army paused. Okay, they said. What do we do? Pox drew up a plan. With seconds to spare, Pox gave the command, and a startled Myrtle let rip the biggest sneeze of her life. Fire! Achoo! Dazed and confused, the germs woke up a minute later. Rash looked around. Look, he said. We made it! We're in! They all cheered. Let's go infect the little girl, cried Puss. They all cheered again. What's that noise coming down the tunnel? asked Scab. Three cheers for Pox, cried the immune system. Pox was hoisted up on shoulders and taken on a triumphant tour of Myrtle. Crowds of cells cheered the germ who had saved them all. We never met a heroic germ before, they said. Neither have I, said Pox. What can we ever do to repay you? Well, said Pox, I do need a place to stay. Thanks to his germ knowledge, Pox was made honorary chief of the immune system. As for Myrtle, haven't you heard? Well, she became mighty Myrtle. Medical Marvel, the girl who is never sick. But that's another story. Fact file. How did germs get in us? Germs can fly into us from a cough or a sneeze, or they can be spread by mucky fingers or sharing a sticky sandwich. How do our bodies fight germs? Over squillions of years, our bodies have worked out how to fight off lots of common germs like snot and rash. When they arrive, our immune system jumps on them until we're well again. How do we help our bodies to stay healthy? We can eat good food and exercise to stay healthy. Doctors can help us too with vaccinations and medicines. Remember, not all germs are nasty. Some of us actually help you out a lot. Just ask Myrtle. 